Oh, what did I do? Oh, you're joking. You went on the inside. Oh, I got it out. Yes way. Close your eyes. Meditate to that sound of the scratchy table. I have a turntable, but I just don't want to use it somewhere back there. Dear, what's up, man? How you doing? Scotty, you should not be in the office today. Why are you here? Maybe I should let Deer do this review because I'm kind of sick. It's that season again. Man, I'm traveling so much. I should be lying in bed, taking a rest, taking a break. But you know what? Getting messages from you guys and seeing all the positive feedback from you. I just wanted to come down to the office really quick. And, you know, I'll do some small set reviews. And hopefully soon, when I get back from the tour, it's still going, by the way. One more show left, man. Then I'm here for the whole summer. Yes! More reviews for you guys, faster, I hope. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Big Map, Scotty. I'm sick, Scotty, but it's all good. Check it out. What you see here is from One Gay. This is not from Lego, but Lego is going to release this. If I'm not mistaken, it should come out June 1st, is it? I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but it's all good. I ordered that one. So when that one comes in, I'm going to do a comparison with this one. But just so you know, One Gay did it first. This is One Gay's The Empire State Building of New York. America, number 8022, 1,946 pieces from ages six up. But I'm pretty sure your six-year-olds will probably get frustrated trying to put this together. You do have to sort out all the pieces. Their bags are not numbered. I really like them for some of their sets. I told you that before. Some are really, really, really super, super fragile. But if you can get past that, they're actually pretty good. First of all, it's super sturdy. I like the size of it. You know, it's, it can't show the whole thing on this camera here. But you can see it here on this camera. It's nice size, I like it. It's just like the CN Tower, yeah? And I think I pulled it out with the other Wangay set, so you can see it in this video. I'm not sure, it's here on the card. If you don't see the card, I'll try to remember to put it in the description. Why don't we just do a drop test right now on this thing? Because, you know, I'm sure you want to see it, right? Think this is gonna fall down? What do you think, yeah, no? Do it from this height, yeah? Here we go, one, two, three. One, two, three. Look at that, solid, man. Only the chains kind of moved. But there you go, this is solid, baby. First of all, thank you so much, One Gay. They gifted this to me. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So I can just show it to you guys. They are sending me more samples. I can't wait to show those to you guys. Now, there's a couple flaws with the set. It's not perfect. Maybe I screwed up and did the building part of it wrong, but we'll get to it in a second. And the other thing is I have a defective plate, which actually looks kind of cool. I didn't change it out because I just wanted to show you this is what really happened. And you know, if you do order from us and you buy one game, you have a couple missing pieces or something wrong, we can source them for you. So it's not to worry about that. If I flip this back here, you can see clearly, look at that plate, it's melted. But I really like it, I think it's kind of cool. It kind of gives it a different vibe. You know that this is Scotty's Empire State Building and not yours, this one's mine. So I guess the bad thing to you might be that it's too similar, it's all four sides. I mean, it's a building, so it's gonna repeat on all four sides. So, you know, like these two sides mirror, these two sides are mirrored, so it might get a little bit repetitive. Look at all those aircon vents, man. Those pieces, the one by two flat, I'm just calling them aircon, I don't know what they are really called, but they're used as aircon vents in most of the sets, I think, right? We'll start on the bottom right there. First of all, printed sign, thank you. As you know, all the architectures are printed. They seem to have mostly this fence on all their sets. And they use these base plates that are really, I guess they're proprietary because Lego doesn't make anything like it, but they are slanted here on the end. You can take those off easily, put it on your own base plate, you know, just so you know. We'll do the dimensions soon, we'll check it out. And let's look on the side first, here. I'm either gonna sound really dumb, and I didn't look this up, but you know, I'm not sure if this is like a power generator or what this thing here. It doesn't open up, it's just like a setting here that sits beside the building, which is kind of cool. They didn't just leave it the building, they put something else there. It's super smooth, which is what I like. It's flat and nice, even on the bottom here. On this side, they do have a little entrance. I guess that's the entrance, the door. I've never been here, man. I know, I'm so surprised. I gotta go here next time I go to New York. I kind of like how they have the little orange tile splash around there, that's kind of neat. It's here as well, where you go up, and there's no more on the top. Here's the windows that you're gonna be doing a lot of, and it's supposed to just slot in here like that and be pushed all the way in. Now this is where I was saying the flaw was, this is here. These aircon vent thingies are supposed to actually be flushed in, but somehow uh, they didn't really fit too perfect on mine. I guess this is okay right now. So it kind of goes in as you can see. I'm not sure if you can, uh, I'll try to do the close up there. But some are flushed in, but the ones here on the side, 
I could not flush them in. They couldn't push them in properly. Oh, look, see, they, they kind of break off. So you're gonna have to like pull this piece out like that. And then you wanna stick this down in here like that. Do be careful when you're putting the window parts in. Some might flush in, some might not, but it still looks really good, right? Look, it actually looks really awesome. I like that. But as we know, this is a display set piece. It still looks really, really good. And we come up here to the top. It's nothing really special. That was pretty easy to put together. Just like an antenna with two silver pieces. I'm not even sure what the name of it. It's repeating again on all four sides, even the back here. You have a little bit of a design here. I like that. But you know, at least it's flushed down. It doesn't look steady. So that's nice. There's nothing on the inside. It's a pretty solid piece. And it's a nice build. I like it. This is one of the sets I do like from Wangay. Looks very nice with the other towers. Look at this thing. Select my trophy. Like my trophy? Yo! Base plate, 32 by 32. Grab yours so you can see if this measures up into your architecture sets. It's pretty tall, man. Look at that. I'm gonna lay this right here. And let's check the length first. So if I put this here, you can see from one gate proprietary plate, we start there, it goes all the way across. It's actually more like 34 studs, but it actually counts as 32 if we just count the studs along the top of the plate. Now let's check the width. Now for the width, we'll do the same thing. I'll put the plate right here, and it's around 22 studs by width from, again, the plate from end to end. But if you just count the studs, it is 20 studs by width. Now it's time to check the height. So break out your one by four bricks. We got plenty here. Stack as many as you can together. Put this one down here first, right there on the plate itself. And then I'll stick this one here like that. Oh, watch it fall over here. There we go. There, look at that. Oh man, oh man, oh man. That is around 60 studs in height. It's just like slightly over. You get the idea. Now if you wanted to do it from here, from the very bottom, this plate itself, it's probably like about a brick, a little bit higher than a brick, and like one flat plate. So you're looking at about 61 studs in height. But there you go, there's your dimensions. Yeah, it's pretty big, man. Here's the manual. So because this is Wangay, it's an older set with the manual, I tried to update them and tell them in person, like, hey man, you gotta update your manuals and make them a little bit easier to read. This one is a more difficult one, but look at that, just an example. Holy smoly, man, they layer like two or three steps into one, and it's kind of hard sometimes to see where the pieces are gonna go. Gotta be really, really patient with this stuff, man. But in the end, they're pretty okay. Now, I wonder how this is really gonna compare with the Lego one. So enough with this review. What I'm gonna do is wait for the Lego one to come out and we'll come back to this these two of them and compare them together, all right? So, until next time, you guys, bring me out! New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. All right, dear, we're done with this review. Let's get out of here, man. I look like King Kong right there. Now, one of the windows just fell inside, so I'm just trying to take the whole piece out. So, when you're pushing down on those windows, do not play with it or else it'll fall in the inside and get stuck and have to get it out like that. Come on. Yeah, I got it. Just so you guys know, if you want to see on the inside, that's what it looks like. Nothing on the inside. Actually, it looks kind of cool like that. You can design it in a way where it's like you're tilting and it's got like this cool look to it. Gotta make sure I put the right side in. Is it the right side? All right, dear. Dear, I need to take a rest. You tell them what you think about the set. Go ahead. like the overall structure. That sock they gave you the deformed plate. It looks so funny. I kind of wish they tiled around it and put some micro cars so it looks like a street going by. Then it would have been perfect. I can't wait till you do the Lego one. But as you guys know, you done yet? Scotty said, one game was first. First, yo. <laughs> Time to drink more water. All right, you guys, once again, Big Scotty's not here. Oh, well, but that doesn't matter. We don't even belong on the set. It's not even to our size. It's actually pretty big. Scotty, where are you? Where are you? Yo, dude, check me out, man. Scotty, what are you wearing? This? I'm ready to hit the beach. I don't know why we're on the set anyway. Maybe I should be wearing something else. Maybe you should. You look disgusting like that. And why is your body so tan? You want to know why? Because you got to watch the next video. So don't forget to like. Comment, subscribe, check out some other videos here, and Deer and I are going to take you to the beach.